A week after floods hit parts of the Northern Cape, communities in that province are still picking up the pieces. Civil organizations and government have partnered together to assist affected residents with food parcels, clothes, and other necessities. Damaged roads and bridges have made traveling to affected areas very difficult. ENC senior reporter Dustin Tatia is joining me now for an update. He's been on the ground. Good afternoon, um, uh, Dustin. Welcome to today. So you, you've been up and about, and I understand there's some search and rescue operations still underway in parts of where you are. How are they going? Well, there's been a lot going on here, and I think just to contextualize this, you know, many of the communities that have been affected by these recent floods were already poor, and they were already there was already large levels of unemployment in those communities. They also did need certain services. So when the floods came last week, what was different, I think, was that the floods itself didn't have a dramatic impact on, for example, their homes. But what it did was that it damaged the infrastructure, which then limited their access to certain services. So it had a ripple effect. And as a result of that, many of them became trapped within their various communities and were not able to get out and others were not able to get in. We saw firsthand yesterday and today that some of the roads had completely collapsed. For example, the N7, which leads to Namibia. Today it was the R355, which is also one of the main roads here. Completely collapsed, uh, impossible. And fortunately, in the case of the latter, there was a farmer that had opened up his particular uh, property to allow traffic to go through. And that's how some of those communities were reached. There is still one person that is missing, Rian Kluter. He's a farm worker, and he disappeared last week along with four others those have been found his body is still missing his family is still desperate they want closure they have in a sense made peace with the fact that he may not come back but they say that because official search and rescue efforts have stopped they're now worried about whether they would ever retrieve his body let's listen to what a relative had to say to us <laughs> Van daar waar die ongeluk was, tot bij die laadwaterbrugje. En met die spoel, uitspoel van die vloed, maakt het baie moeilijk die zoektocht. Want dis bome wat gegaan het, bome wat oor mekaar geval het, dis sand wat gerol het, dis klippe wat gespoel het. So dis vir ons baie moeilijk om huidiglik in self soek. So ons voel maar net, die reskospan moet maar terugkom, en die reskospan moet die zoektocht weer loods. Want my gevoel is, die familie kan nou maar soek, maar so I can not deal with this kind of thing, but I feel like I'm That's an appeal that the rescuers need to come back and help. You know, although the Kluter family is making peace with the fact that their loved one might not return, but how are the communities really affected there? Well, it's largely this uh, issue of food. That seems to be the immediate priority, along with services. So. For example, some of them need to collect grants, and they were not able to do that because they were not able to get through those roads. In some cases, they were babies. I mean, we've heard of a baby that uh, was born prematurely just the other day because there was no um, access to medical facilities. So the baby was born there within the community. So these are some of the concerns that residents have. Although the pace has been slow, the, uh, the provincial government has also said that, they understand that, but they have been just appealing to residents to understand that they have also had problems with access and getting into those places. One of the main issues, it seems then, is uh, the repair of the roads. And one of the residents that we spoke to today was talking about that and saying that if that could at least, if work could at least begin on that, that would assist them in some way. Let's listen in now to what he had to say to us just outside the venue where food parcels were being handed out. En ons moet hier kostpakjes krijgen, wat net die uitkomen, want hier is mensen wat nou zo so lang en die oude mensen vernaam, wat zo so in hier die warm zon moet staan. Daar is die genade voor hulle nie. Nou moet hulle staan hier zo so goed of hulle weer bij die pensen is of weer bij die sassen is waar hulle staan om geld te krijgen. Moet hulle nou hier staan, want die goed wordt hier recht gedoen nie. Waarvoor moet die groot mensen zo so zwaar krijgen en waarvoor is die pad nog hier recht nie? Another resident there expressing their frustration about the damage infrastructure due to the flooding there and appealing for the roads at least to be, uh, to be repaired as soon as possible, ending that update from Dustin Tatcha in Springbok in the Northern Cape.